Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on how to improve your teaching in terms of the updated English language secondary education program. I will give you a series of PPP with plenty of good advice on how to achieve some of the learning objectives and I am going to give you some great ideas on how to successfully bring the grade one learning objectives from the course plan into your classroom. So, now let's take a look at some of the learning objectives from the Grade 1 course plan. Let's look at Term 1, Unit 2, My School. Our learning objective here is for use of English. Grade 1, UE1. Use common singular and plural nouns to say what and where things are. So, how can teachers organise their activities? The lesson objectives for this lesson might be that all learners will be able to listen and repeat the names of classroom objects. Most learners will be able to recognize and name some classroom objects. And some learners will be able to recognize and name all classroom objects. For pre-teaching, we recommend that you use both realia and visual aids. Please give out some flashcards to your students. Um, place them in different places around the classroom. Desk, chair, book, pen, bag and teacher. Have the students do the actions necessary according to your instruction. For example, boys, go to the ruler. It is on the desk. And girls, go to the desk. It is next to me. After this, you may use visual aids or flashcards to prompt your learners to say the words. Then you may demonstrate actions using realia. Open the door. Close the door. Open the book. Close the book. Open the window. Close the window. Open the bag and close the bag. You may demonstrate these actions using miming gestures. Have your learners stand up near their desks and repeat your actions and words. Next, you can give your students worksheets with school objects on them to colour and name. During this time, you may monitor their progress and make some notes of the problems that learners have during the task. For formative assessment, it is recommended that your students be given worksheets with classroom objects to colour according to your instructions. You should say the number, colour and object. In each line there are two correct answers. For example, number one, book is blue. Teacher should find the time to give the numbers and objects and also make sure that your students have time to colour them in. You may repeat these instructions according to your learners needs. You can easily find lots of common classroom objects and flashcards using the link on the slide. This idea was created by one of our NIS English teachers. This was one of our ideas. We invite you to add your own. Thank you for your attention and good luck.